Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a towering sequoia of sex appeal and science, <laughs> Dr. Franklin Rule. Meow! Thank you, young lady. Now, UFOs come in many shapes and sizes. Here is your typical flying saucer configuration, which is technically an oblate spheroid. The next commonest shape is that of a prolate spheroidal object, otherwise known as a cigar-shaped or cylindrical UFO. There are also a number of offbeat or oddball shapes, such as a flying W, flying D, and perhaps the oddest of all, a flying vacuum cleaner. Now, among sightings, those from pilots are considered to be the most valid because they're familiar with what's in the sky and can distinguish between a star and a starship. One case from 1996 is of particular interest. It involved two British Airways pilots who, as they approached Manchester, England, in their 737, spotted an enormous wedge-shaped object. Let's hear from one of those pilots right now. This is literally an unidentified flying object. Well, uh, that, that has sort of connotations of little green men and things. I would say it was unexplained air miss. It keeps me on safer ground. Now, for the record, that UFO was wedge-shaped. It had no sound associated with it. There was a black stripe down its middle, and it had white lights that resembled little Christmas tree lights. Now we're going to hear from a ground-based observer who saw that very same object confirming the pilot's sightings. To move sideways, right and left, and tilt over backwards, do maneuvers that no aircraft in this country could do them sort of maneuvers. Very interesting. Now, I believe this is one of the strongest cases for the existence of visitors from another planet. Now, I'll be back later with more on UFOs. First thing I saw was a, a pillars of cloud. Like, that were, one was all solid, like a, like a cloud, normally, some, like puffy solid, but it was cylinder. Like a, uh, like a cloud, and it just came out of nowhere. It's like,